I'm going to tell you all about my favorite cleaners and sanitizers for home brewing. Now, when you home brew, you have to clean and sanitize. It's really critical that you do both, and in that order. Something has to be clean for it to be sanitized. So there are a ton of products out there to do these different duties, but, uh, but I've narrowed it down to two in each category for a total that are really my favorites and, and the ones that are my, my workhorses in my home brewing, and really the only ones that I use now. So first, let's do cleaners. And there's really two. The first one is OxyClean. And this is my go-to. Now, this is OxyClean free. It's not critical that you get OxyClean free, but I think it is pretty important. Free means that it doesn't have any of the perfumes in it. They put perfumes in here because, you know, a lot of people use OxyClean for their laundry. Um, we don't really care about our gear smelling good. Um, and in fact, that's not a good thing in home brewing. So try to get OxyClean free. Now, this is a really great cleaner. The ratio I like to use is one ounce per gallon of water, and it works a little bit better if you use hot water with it. And it's just, you know, it's cheaper stuff. This is a mass market product. It's not made especially for home brewers, so it's cheaper than uh, most of the popular homebrew cleaners. And, and it just works really, really well. It's going to get all that dirt and grime off your stuff. And uh, if it doesn't, just let it soak a little bit longer, and I'm positive it'll get it off. Now, the other cleaner I like a lot is PBW, and that's very similar to OxyClean, but it's just a little bit stronger. Now, the drawback of that is that it's pretty expensive. It's a lot more expensive than OxyClean. So I only use it in certain situations. There's really two that I use it in. One is for my plate chiller. You know, the plate chiller, it's really important to clean that thing uh, thoroughly, uh, and you can't really open up the plate chiller, or at least the one that I have, so you never really know if it's clean inside. So I don't take any gambles and I make sure that I use the best cleaner possible. So I use PBW for that. Also, if I have a carboy, a plastic carboy that has a lot of gunk on it and it's just really stuck on there and OxyClean's not doing the trick, that's when I'll use PBW. And I'll let that soak for a day or two and that always gets the dirt off of it. So OxyClean and PBW, my favorite two cleaners. Okay, on to sanitizers. And I have two favorites of these as well. And the first one is Star Sand. And this is really my go-to these days. I use this now 99% of the time. And this is a, a really great sanitizer. The ratio you use is one ounce per five gallons or half an ounce per two and a half gallons of water. And, uh, and this is a no rinse sanitizer, meaning that once you dunk something in it, you can go ahead and use it right away. You don't have to rinse it off. And you're not supposed to rinse it off with water. You know, if you have dirty water, you're gonna undo everything the sanitizer just did. So this is a great no rinse sanitizer. It does foam up a lot and some people don't like that, uh, you know, especially when you have a lot of foam in your carboy right before you transfer the beer into it. We have a saying in home brewing, don't fear the foam. And actually the foam is really, it's not really good, but it's good for the yeast. Uh, it's not a bad thing by any means. So Star Sand, uh, it's a really great sanitizer. The drawback is it's pretty expensive. But the counter side of that is that you can reuse it. And I have a video on how to reuse it properly. So, you know, you can get a, a lot of mileage out of one batch of Star Sand, you know, if you keep it pretty clean in there. Uh, the next type of sanitizer that I like is Iodophore. And that's an iodine based sanitizer. Works really well. Um, you know, it's on par with Star Sand. Uh, a couple things I don't like about it. You know, it's, uh, the main thing is that it has a dye in it. You know, it's iodine, so it's going to stain stuff. So I've had plenty of uh, shirts, especially white shirts, that I've splashed iodophore up on, and I haven't gotten those stains out. Also, vinyl tubing. I've got some vinyl tubing over here. You know, if you, uh, if you sanitize your vinyl tubing in iodophore and you let it sit there a little bit too long, it's going to stain it, which is not really a bad thing, but it doesn't look good. And also, if that thing gets dirty, if it has, like, some you know, some specks of dirt on it. I might not be able to see that if it's stained brown. So, you know, those are my, uh, my two favorite cleaners and sanitizers. You know, the ones I use 90% of the time, 99% of the time, uh, OxyClean and Star Sand. So these are the ones that I recommend you use.